everyone, Rebecca Louise here. So excited because today we're going to be working on the chest and the back. So getting nice and strong and make sure you have your post recovery shake afterwards because that's what's going to build your lean muscle. So it comes down slowly and then we push fast up to the top. Okay, keep it going. We're going to do one more set after this. So just keep working that chest muscle, keep working those arms. We're really gonna feel it on that third set, which is why it's important just to keep going. Keep pushing and working out with me. Okay, come on, really lift in that push. Try and give it a little bit more, straighten those arms and slowly down. So it's everything in the push and then slow on the arms down. Okay, so let's just do a few nice and slowly, coming all the way down. Okay, two more, up and then down and then one more. And now we're gonna hold it again at the top because we've got one more set to do. Okay, so I just want you to hold here, isometric hold. This is kind of like your rest, but we're still like actually engaging our muscles. So just hold those arms nice and tight. Keep those hips tucked underneath. And if you're ready, we're gonna go for our last set. Three, two, one, let's go. So slow on the way down, that's it. Push right up to the sky. You're looking good, guys. Just remember working on that chest and the back. Every time that you do this, you wanna make sure that you're having the right amount of weight because if it's too light, nothing's gonna happen. And you're not gonna just bulk up overnight. So don't worry about like if you start lifting something heavy, you're gonna just all of a sudden get like the Incredible Hulk. It's not gonna happen. Okay, so keep pushing and then slow down. Let's just do five more together. And I just want you to take these nice and slow. So it's, it's really quite quick on the way up. And then as you go down and just squeeze. That's it, let's give me three more. Slowly down, and two, push up, and come on, last one, making your best. Push nice and fast, and then slowly come down. Okay, great job. The next exercise, you're gonna grab those two weights, okay, and hold them together. I like to hold them nice and tight for stability. And all you're gonna do is just drop down, and then come back up again, so your arms come straight. So it's all the way down, without touching the floor, and then back up again. Just watch your head. Make sure that you're nice and controlled. Keep those feet flat on the ground. And that's it, bring those forearms and then squeeze back up again. You're looking really good, guys. Just keep working, keep moving those muscles. And if at any time it gets too heavy, remember, instead of stopping, just go down to one weight. That's what the most important thing is, is do not quit, just keep going. Right, we're gonna be really working that chest and back today, guys, but you've gotta give me 10 minutes dedicated of your time just to keep going. And remember that we do three workouts each day, so if you're not on the calendar, okay, get started on the calendar. It's gonna give you the three workouts to do every single day. We do a different body part, it's so fun. And you're gonna get some nutrition tips too. Okay, so squeeze all the way down and then back up again. Right, now hold it here. Now, just like we did in the previous exercise, you're gonna hold nice and tight. So straighten those arms up, it's just a rest, but it's that isometric hold. That's it, now keep you tucking your hips underneath. Okay, make sure your, your shoulders are nice flat on the ground, and let's go for one more set. All the way down, and then up. And you're gonna find it slightly harder the second set, just because your muscles are getting tired. But it's when you keep pushing through, okay, you, you keep working, that's when the changes are gonna happen. So when it's tough and you're tired, that's when that body starts to change. Okay, we're just gonna do five more, so five, and four, and three, two, nice and slow, and one. And then the last time, we're just gonna hold it back up the top. Okay, squeeze it here, and then we're just gonna hold again over the top of our head. So nice and slowly down. Okay, really are working the underneath of the arms here. Just hold it here, those shoulders are working for five, four, three, two, one. Now bring it back up, and then down to your side. Awesome, how's everyone feeling? Okay, good job. Shake your arms out a little bit. Okay, ready to feel good for the next exercise. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we are gonna squeeze our elbows nice and tight in towards our waist, and we are gonna push up, and then we're gonna squeeze down, okay? So slightly different motion, okay? We were out here first, now we're gonna go into the waist, and we're just gonna push up, okay, a little bit further out, and then squeeze back down again. Okay, keeping those hips tucked under, let's go. We're gonna do three sets of these. So it's really slow on the way down, and then shoot back up again. You start to really feel your arms tingling now. We're waking up all the muscles in our chest, in our back, and, and in our arms as well, guys. So you are really getting a total upper body workout. That's it, push it straight forward, 
and then always super slow on the way down. Okay, so come down with me slowly. Don't just push up, come down, and then wait for me to go back up again. If you wanna come down at the same pace as me, okay, then you're gonna get the same results. So let's squeeze up and down. Okay, so now we're gonna hold it at the top, just like we did before. Okay, so just squeeze those hips underneath, and we're just gonna do little pulses in and out. Okay, so very, very slight movement, just in and out. Take a nice big breath in and breathe out. It's really hard, guys, if you're kind of you're really focused on the exercise that you're not actually doing the breathing. Okay, and you're gonna wake up, you're gonna wake up, you're gonna stand up and you're gonna get dizzy. Okay, and also you're gonna get dizzy if you're not having the right nutrition and you're working out. So we've got that covered with you too. Okay, so let's do another set. So squeeze and then push those arms up. That's it. Come nice and slowly down. And up we go. Guys, you're doing incredible. Just keep up this good work. I know that you can feel it in those forearms. You can feel it in the tops of your arm. Your back is working too, along with your shoulders. Let's just give me five more. So let's go for five. You can count with me. Four. Squeeze those elbows in. Three. And two. And then the last one, squeeze up and then all the way down. Okay, great job. You're now gonna go out to the side. We're gonna be working those biceps. Okay, but just shake those arms out, give them a little bit of a wiggle, and get ready for the next exercise. Okay, so grabbing hold of those weights, we are gonna be just on the floor, and just like we do, we do bicep curls, but we have got a little bit more of the weight, okay? So the gravity is in a different place. So you're gonna be coming all the way up to the top, okay, and then all the way down, almost touching the floor. Okay, so working those biceps, you can really feel the weight when you're lying on your back, okay, it feels a lot heavier than when you're standing up. That's because you don't have this, the same support. Okay, so we're working harder. That's it, so squeeze down and then up again. Okay, so this time what I want you to do is you're gonna squeeze in, okay, you're gonna push up to the sky, you're gonna come down, and then you're gonna do a bicep curl. Okay, so it's a whole movement. So in, push up to the sky, work in that chest, come down, and then onto those biceps. Good job, everyone. Okay, let's keep it going. You've got this. Just think how awesome your back's gonna look, okay? Your back and your chest and your whole upper body when you've done this workout and you're feeling awesome. Keep it going. That's it, squeeze those arms in and then up to the sky. Looking good, guys. We are almost through, but you've gotta keep going all the way to that 10 minutes because we've only got 60 seconds left to go. So keep squeezing. Bring it in and then arms up to the sky. Okay, for the last, 60 seconds, okay? We are gonna come up into a high plank. So ro rotate and do your last bicep curl all the way down, okay? And then we're gonna go up onto our plank. So all you're gonna do, okay, your arms should be feeling like tingling. We've just been holding that weight for a whole nine minutes. How quickly did that go? So you're gonna be up here, okay? And what I want you to do is you're gonna walk out and then you're gonna walk in, okay? So just the last 45 seconds, Okay, we're gonna do this. So you're gonna alternate it too. So come out with your right, back in with your right, out with your left, back in with your left. Okay, you got this guys. Come on, we're almost there. Keep squeezing. Oh, you're looking good. You can feel those arms, especially when you've been wait using the weights for like nine minutes straight. Okay, and then you go into using something on your own body weight. It's gonna really make a difference. Okay, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, Five, come on, keep going. Three, two, one. Great job, come down to your knees, give your arms a shake, and then make sure that you do our cool down video, because that really is gonna stretch out your arms, make you feel good for the rest of the day. We've got an awesome calendar that teaches you what workout to do every single day, so make sure you subscribe, subscribe to the channel, and guys, we're just getting started. There are so many more workouts coming for you.